official build since the Lovestruck expansion. And uh, I feel like these builds are actually going to be a lot more fun because I'm so interested in like Halloween, scary stuff, horror, uh, horror movies, uh, suspense, stuff like that. And uh, so yeah, this was really up my alley. And uh, as you know, uh, if you've seen one of my videos before that had these uh, same characters, um it was the cemetery build um in uh the horse ranch world and um that one did pretty well <laughs> at the time so uh i was like okay i don't really feel like building a graveyard yet and i want to kind of get used to the items first before i you know build something very uh different or you know, like something that's like obviously something I haven't built before, be and just use like before we had obviously we had graves, but you know how that goes. Like we had the old versions. These ones just look so cool, and the idea was basically that with uh, each headstone there are four characters in the household, and so each headstone represents their ancestor. So yeah from left to right so the different grave markers would uh, um, represent the different uh, characters for the first one more of like a skull and bones because he's supposed to be this um, you know guy who's really into the cult he maybe wants to be a spellcaster eventually or a vampire whichever it could be and uh, really just you know wants to embrace death <laughs> and yeah so now though with the what we get with the death expansion we can obviously just make him a grim turn <laughs> see where it goes from there and then for the second one hers is more about just nature uh healing spell casty stuff you know green wits type of stuff so her headstone is with a rose and then number three is uh, well he's the blondie if you've seen my short recent shorts so those were the characters that i made for um this uh specific they were um characters that I made for this specific build and you can see them like anyone who has watched it will can easily spot them from far away because they're standing right there <laughs> so yeah one's like gonna be like a green witch she's uh into uh gardens and stuff like that uh, the third one is kind of all over the place I suppose she's supposed to be the normal type you know just smart intelligent uh -huh. normie that gets involved with these guys right uh but she's also a badass so <laughs> and third one is more into like a type of light magic like kind of just he loves the sun he loves all that but due to allegiances between all three of them uh it ends up being you know they live together despite the differences. I mean, you have one that's obsessed with death and dark stuff, and then the second one that's obsessed with life and plants and such. And the third one who's kind of just in it as the brainchild and who actually, now that I think about it, is like interested in the earth, but more so like mermaid stuff you know trying to figure out that mermaid lore and yeah she just wants to she, she, yeah like i was saying like normal but I, like now i just changed my mind, not, mind on that that her focus would obviously be you know this uh normal person who also explores these occults like researches them and stuff i think it's just very interesting and her other aspect as i have drawn her before but, is uh sand so let's see how i can implement that when i play around with them you know uh yeah and number four 
guys into sunshine, happiness, music, um, jokes. So he's a sunny side up. <laughs> and so his is represented by the sun. And yeah. So, yeah. Okay. And, um, well, just, I could talk on and on about the build, but really, it, it, isn't, it isn't that special. It's really uh, based around one of the houses on that side, like I showed right now. The house next to the very big house, the little cabin looking one, I based the roof around that. I usually really uh, have it difficult with roofs. I suck at roofing, but luckily with that one, I was able to at least figure out, you know, this yeah okay if i stick to this it won't be that difficult uh, because uh, if i don't have a point of reference uh, i kind of you know i go all over the place and it becomes very difficult to bring things back correctly and ends up taking a lot of time so yeah <laughs> that's why i decided to just go by reference even if it was that small and funny enough that house on the side that obviously you cannot access it seems to be one of the like when i was looking up romanian houses to make with all country build uh it was one of the first results on google in the images for a romanian house and it's remarkably similar to that one that i found on google so i wonder <laughs> if the same thing does the same thing i do or thinks of it in the same way that i do as an opportunity to you know just add on so sadly it's not accessible but i connected it with that hopefully i'm not thinking too much but it it looks very suspiciously similar uh i can show you guys um on the uh when i do like more of a like a gameplay with these characters and with that um i just uh oh here though uh putting that thought for a little bit to the side because that's not the main concern right now so here like you know obviously like i was getting ghost i was like okay so this one this pack comes with a lot of stuff that works well with the castle estate kit so i was like okay do i want to use the castle estate or do i want to use this one do i want to use this one's door or do i want to use castle estate door what kind of windows what do i want what kind of vibe do i want Originally, I wanted to, uh, for it to be a base game and a life and death starter home exclusive. And now neither is it a fully starter home, but on that thing, that four people living here and stuff, um, when I made them through the cast, they, uh, you know, had enough for this. <laughs> So it's fine, I think, if I little go on a little cheese there, right? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so like I was saying, this is when I was, you know, going around and trying to figure out the vibe and the color and the style and where which one I should use, right? Like I was mentioning before, before I you know, changed the, the subject. So, yeah. Um... So that's one thing and then there's also the other window situation like i was trying to figure that out i'm like i get these windows aren't gonna look good everywhere so in order for some difference i can do this and it took me quite a while to figure, find these specific ones and the type of color that i wanted uh luckily for you guys i skipped over all that <laughs> i really trimmed it down without you know being lazy and like in the past having it be like having so much of it in there and then just increasing it by like four times or eight times or sometimes even 20 times the normal rate and when you're looking at that it can give you a real headache so and i've seen the shift um from youtubers from going from those extreme fast uh speed builds to more of a relaxed commentary, more commentary base, and like just double speed or triple speed. So seeing that, and I was like, okay, you know, you gotta 
do it like that. You can't just, you know, be lazy and not edit it out correctly. It's really not that hard. It's uh, pretty fun and rewarding. Hopefully, if people check it out. Because <laughs> um, it took me two days to do this. And yeah. I'm glad I did it and I got out of my funk. Okay. And uh, now we're done talking about that. Oh, and by the way, this uh, this pack is awesome. Okay. Uh, I don't know about any glitches and stuff like that. And neither do I really care. But uh, overall, for the build mode, it synergizes very well with a lot of other packs. So, and it really helped me on that too, is that I didn't, I wasn't forced to pick too much or too many packs. So, um, like, I could easily make do with that one, with the life and death and the, like, castle state and stuff like that and here i'm like trying to figure out the stair placement i always always struggle with stairs as you'll see or not maybe yeah maybe not <laughs> and also sometimes i like struggle with like the well i struggle with two things the most the floor plan and the uh how i want to blend uh everything into the right um um right uh wallpaper and flooring so those are like two things that you know just it really <laughs> does it to be honest but yeah okay um and you'll see how i go about it like adding small little wash frames because making a washroom is boring but i think i made this thing look very pretty okay I am teasing myself. I'm glazing myself here, but I think I made it very pretty. <laughs> I made it quite. Um, so maybe it might be a good one to look into, right? Even though bathrooms just like feel like such a waste of time a lot of the time. But I think you'll like it. Or at least not this one, but at least the one upstairs. <laughs> I think it is very nice. Um, yeah, because when I get in the mood, I get in the mood. Like vibe wise. So you know and this house and just this area was giving me the old timey vibe so i was like you know what we have to have a chimney in there regardless like that smoke blowing off of the chimney from the side is gonna look chef's kiss and majestic when we're in gameplay <laughs> especially here because seasons don't really change much in this area which i don't really mind i mean come on not to have storms and of uh, ice and water no like yeah no i mean obviously the temperature i think changes in it and there's stuff that needs to like tweak around but i'm glad i don't have to worry about extreme weather right because a lot of the time you load in and then it's just irritating when you have the constant rain but yeah okay um well that's my opinion on that um, uh, and that's mine. Obviously, uh, it should have, uh, come with it correctly when the fact that stuff can be turned. Okay, if winter is, like, completely off, seasons are off, but, um, if, with the vibe that they were going for fall, it sh would, should have definitely been the month that is actually allowed and the shows difference in the trees. That is something, obviously, I will criticize them on. They messed up. But, yeah. And, uh... Yeah. So, yeah. Back to gameplay and what I wanted to do with that. So, with gameplay, I specifically just want to... Not it to be the main, um... Like, focus of videos. Because that's just not me i can't really like create a storyline and then go through it and like it's so hard for me to keep my attention and then to micromanage enough for a video to be like about gameplay i'm just i'm so bad at micromanaging and 
keeping up the sims uh needs and alongside everything else because there's so much i want to do with it and um a lot of the time it comes out either boring or just too much too far and a lot of the time i don't know what to say and what to do so my solution to that is because i just really truly want to play the games i like i really do at the end it's a game like life simulation come on and so uh for that aspect i'm like okay you know what i could do something different so i can play it like this i can do the gameplay and not have to worry about music like copyright and stuff that's the reason why this one doesn't really uh, i'm not thinking of adding any background music because a lot of the ones like i got a lot of views like in the chile house uh that one got like 30,000 freaking views but I have to individually go and get rid of every single copyright thing in there otherwise I can't monetize the video 30,000 views 30 actually 30,000 plus views and not being able to monetize that you have got to be kidding me like a 3,000 or 4,000 amount of watch time and it's not monetized. That is ridiculous for a small little amount of music in there. I check that even. It comes from a difference of only like, uh, like 10 minutes max to 150 seconds minimum. Okay? One minute medium minimum for them to have multiple copyrights and the ability not to get rid of the songs. All at once it's a pain and that's why I just let's see how this does without complete sound or maybe I'm not gonna do it that one obviously I can't make sure you guys know me and I suck at making promises and then going on them acting on them but that's life all right okay so yeah yeah gameplay yeah that's the thing okay so basically that thing was before i went on the rant is just it's gonna be a gameplay of this and other hacks and stuff like that whatever all at once so uh they're gonna be doing their thing and i'm gonna be doing my thing but i don't have to hear them talk and you don't have to hear them talk you don't have to hear the you know the be the, the, the. <laughs> and we i can explore that whatever and that can be used as background gameplay well uh like with this i just end up with a voiceover and i speak about either whatever's on my mind maybe scripted maybe about the news very unlikely uh and uh ex anime stuff that got me into anime like recommendations and thoughts on old series of anime and manga that really shaped my childhood and really got me through it like obviously the first one that really got me where i knew i was like in the first anime i ever watched was zero no sugaima soul that means like uh the familiar of zero it was edgy harem <laughs> if that gives you the idea oh my lord i'm <laughs> the first thing i watched and getting me into anime. <laughs> laughing about it, man. Just laughing. I cannot. Um, and then, obviously, Bleach. And uh, the one that I got into the la late, way late, was One Piece. But boy, did I spend a whole Ramadan and summer vacation of sophomore or junior year and junior year watching One Piece. Most worth time even though i should have been focused on the school year that's gonna come next learn more things and prepare myself no watch one piece and not fully absorb observe the fasting yes because <laughs> you know fasting wise though um i suppose i'm like obviously we have to keep ourselves away from sin Obviously, one thing is like you're keeping yourself away from food and you're keeping yourself away from water or any liquid for that matter. But 
also on your eyes, ears, and mouth. You can, like, sh like, you know, crap shouldn't come out of your mouth. No arguing, no yelling, no cussing. That should not come out of your mouth. No listening to that either. No music. And obviously from what my eyes were seeing, y'all know what One Piece, how it is when it comes to the female characters. <laughs> I just anime in general. <laughs> I wanted to... And so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah. That's the thing. I want to be using those as... Oh, I've always wanted to do it. And, um... Like, I think that would just be perfect. Um, I can talk about One Piece. I can talk about those things. Um... I can talk about so many other ones that really caught me into it and me writing reviews on it and how they hold up today and uh, what happened in a lot of them. So to go from Bleeds, I don't know, Sukaima, Durarara, the other one is Kaicho Wa Meir Sama. Kaicho Wa Meir Sama. The president is a maid. Uh, stuff like that and like Orange and. Um, Angel Beats, uh, a lot of stuff, <laughs> um, Given, yeah, Given, Orange, Angel Beats, uh, Naruto, dur 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 dur, um, Bleach, One Piece, Hitman Reborn, um, stuff like that, so yeah, uh, I hope people look forward to that, because <laughs> I can't wait to talk about it. Villain Saga, on and on, on most of those things. So I wanna, on the background, you would basically be seeing me gameplay with The Sims, and I might comment on The Sims from time to time within the gameplay, or I have a script and I talk about anime and manga and some important news from time to time, some of my views on politics, religion, teaching people about people about Islam, maybe, you know, that's what they want to know, or like, like similarities, I'm, I'm not going to be converting anyone, all right, okay, <laughs> I just want, like, my knowledge that I may have about certain things, I'm quite a philosophical person, so I want to have that in there, and it would be a nice draw for me, so that's some things that I will put in there, and really, uh, anything and everything, uh, that's supposed to be my channel and doing anything and everything and I obviously you know on it I say that I want to do reviews and that is the main reason for the manga and anime and just stuff in general I want to review it I want to kind of analyze it but since I'm no expert I won't get too far into it too much to, into it I will put as far as I know and that would be the big thing like don't take my word as the word right because I'm no expert on it. So that's why I won't be fully into anything. Just little bits in and there. And not be a narc. And act like I know everything. And what I'm saying is the truth. It's the view. It's the overall king thing. I don't want that. I don't need that. Because I'm not a full person. And neither do I claim to be. So I just kind of want to bring that into uh, my, I want to, like, I want to bring that enjoyment back into my videos uh, and reinvent myself, not really reinventing, but more just embracing who and what I am, what I like, what my interests are, how is my life, and yeah. And if you guys are looking forward to that, great. If uh, not, also great. <laughs> I'll do like one and I'll ask opinions on that and see if you guys like it or not. I would also love to do some product reviews, whether they're sponsored or not. Reviews of games, that could also be and Dragon Quest 3. Dragon Quest, my favorite game, number one game, first game I ever played. On the Nintendo DS, first game I ever got, I, along with Pokemon uh, Heart Gold. So we can review those two 
also, and I can talk about them, and I can talk about Dragon Quest, the ones that I played, and yeah. And with Dragon Quest 3 2D HD coming, uh, actually already came, and I have it on Steam, and I will be playing through it, and I hope people like it. Oh, this was the bathroom that I thought I just looked so cool. <laughs> that's, that's that one, right? Um, and I was like, you know what? It doesn't look that bad. It looks pretty nice. Like, why skip over that, right? <laughs> so, yeah, you can, like, see it. And my strange, strange thought patterns throughout this whole place. <laughs> uh, you know, when a person said that I couldn't use too many packs, trust me, you're gonna end up using so many packs. Because, like, perfection, babes, perfection is what... It's like my middle name of trying to be perfect when I shouldn't be perfect. You shouldn't ask for symmetry and perfection, which I always do, honey. That is what I do. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, but yeah. So, uh, yeah. What other reviews, huh? We can review articles. Um, when it comes to news, we can check out. Find a way for me to like research unbiased stuff and put my two cents in it from three sides, two sides, whichever sides that are in there and just kind of, you know, give out. I think that would be pretty good and I feel like it would be quite interesting and informative while me just playing The Sims. <laughs> so I would and that is like I'm not gonna get on my high horse because come on I'm a like I'm a mm, like, manager at my work or whatever it is you know that and I am not in politics I'm not a lawyer I'm not a pol political analyst or a game analyst or any of those things and no expert in anything i am a jack of all trades and a master of none except for not shutting up my mouth <laughs> that is what i am a master of so you know you know you know if you saw my other videos in this one this one's a little unhinged so <laughs> i hope you guys look forward to it because uh that's gonna be pretty pretty fun and the reason why I decided to mostly do this and I was like putting off, it's been quite a while since I've actually put out something like this. And Sims in general, it's like I was like finding my footing, but also I was getting very lazy. And this one, I was just like, okay, you know, but just babe, sit on the seat, do the recording, use it, voice over it. At first, I wasn't even going to do that. I was like, okay, no. I wanted to have a... Um... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I... Oh, man, I lost my thought. Come on, man. Give me a minute. <laughs> Alright, okay. So, basically, for what it was, it was like... Oh, my babes. You recorded all this. Like, legit, I recorded uh, five hours. All together of this this is like five or six hours in uh edited into 30 minutes so two all days like i said and uh between work and all those other things and sometimes that happens work gets in the way and sometimes i don't you know and uh, sometimes i procrastinate sometimes i get lazy and sometimes i get depressed so it it gets in the way but i have to learn to you know accept that and just maybe just just sit and do, your, do it because right now this this is like a hobby and a second job for me. I have my normal job, which will always be my priority, and this hobby is my second job. So I hope you guys can support me on that. Uh, you guys can like leave a like, comment, subscribe, tell me if you guys would like for things to go that direction to what I am saying, and if not, because really the everything.
is video games everything. At first, this is going to be gaming videos, right? I played any and all video games, and I wanted to do reviews and stuff. But then I started focusing more on the everything because you cannot just have one type of content. Obviously, you need your niche, but in the future, you need to expand. You need to sell as a business. That's just how it is. So the more you have your hands in multiple things, the more likely you are to attract different viewers and be able to grow and learn. And that is what I want to do. That I might speak from a dumb place or speak something that really just is dumb and not worth listening to. But if I can get the conversation going on certain topics, uh, I think that would be very nice. It would be quite swell, like they say, right? So there's that. Uh, and yeah, oh, that's a thing. I struggled so much with the kitchen. Downstairs, I'm just like creating the bedrooms for them. That's the thing. When I had created their apartment for Love Struck, uh, it was super easy in order to have the right setting for them but housewise I really like don't know how to go about it I don't know what it is about the second floor when it's connected through a stairway I can never find the right place for the stairway to go don't know why it doesn't make sense so yeah now here I'm adding a last little bit of extra activities they can do and hopefully it doesn't the plants and gardening, like hoping <laughs> that that doesn't end up being the case. But, uh, and here I also have a portion of it where I'm lighting up everything at night so that uh, the lights uh, can look cool. Right, so there's a little portion of that in there, it might be harder to see and maybe might not be as entertaining. But we are watching games everything. Emphasis on the everything. I will be everywhere on anything and everything. Thank you. Now, now let's go. Let's go. Thank you for watching. And leave a like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe at Wadget Games 123.